Research suggests that teaching strategies inspired by cognitive science principles can have a positive impact on learning in the classroom. But in order to use them effectively, it's important to understand two key concepts, memory processes and cognitive load theory. It's helpful to think of memory in three main parts. The first is sensory memory. This is constantly receiving input from our environment, like sounds inside and out of the classroom and visuals around the room. When we pay attention to particular inputs, information is passed from the sensory memory into the working memory. Working memory is where current thinking happens. There is a limit on how much information it can store and for how long. Finally, there is long-term memory. This is where information that we have previously learnt is stored and organised into structures known as schema. The relationship between the working memory and the long-term memory is an important one. Information in our working memory must be encoded into our long-term memory by connecting it with previously learned content. If information is not encoded, then it can be forgotten. But retrieving previously learned information draws it from the long-term memory and brings it back into the working memory to help make sense of new information. By engaging in this retrieval process, information is less likely to be forgotten. So, what strategies can teachers use to help in the encoding process? Drawing attention to important content and repeating it helps to direct students' attention to the information that should be encoded. This can also be done by making purposeful connections to prior knowledge, both in curriculum planning and in the classroom. New knowledge is more easily encoded when it is connected to existing schemas. Teachers can also support knowledge retrieval by sequencing their curriculum purposefully and pre-planning opportunities to revisit content. This allows opportunities to strengthen and deepen pupils' understanding, adding to students' existing schemas. They can also plan opportunities for students to practice retrieving information from memory. This can improve retrieval strength meaning the information can be more easily recalled in the future. For more information about managing cognitive load and some of the approaches described in this animation, download the EEF's Cognitive Science Evidence Review from our website. <laughs>